、なんとなんと Welcome back to another episode at Nore Aqua. Today, we will be unboxing the Liti Aquaria stainless steel cabinet mount light stand. I will be installing it to the 60p cabinet. Without further delay, let's start unboxing. The first box here is the lighting stand accessories. This is the two poles that connect together, forming the vertical light mount. The last piece is the horizontal bar where you'll suspend or hang your light. It's a heads up that you will need to purchase the light hanging kit specific to the light model from Leeti Aquaria. The lighting stand accessories box is the hardware required to fix the light stand to your cabinet. If you don't purchase the light mounting fixtures, You should open the packaging to see three obvious parts to the light stand. Let's get on to the installation. You have the flexibility to choose where to mount your light stand. I've chosen the right side for easy access. This step is important. You will need to mark two holes vertically, roughly 5 to 10 centimeters apart. You can either use an electric driver. Or manually with an ordinary Phillips screwdriver. I've opted to use an electric driver to make my life easier. A pro tip from experience is to pre fit your screw holes with the self tapping screws included in the box. This saves you the risk of dropping the metal holders down onto your expensive floor, or worse still, falling square onto your toes. Okay. Let's install the light stand holders into position. Make sure you do not over torque the screws, as this is just wood and it will just strip out. Gently turn left or right to fully align the light pole holders. Insert the light pole into the holders. Using the Allen key included in the kit, screw in and secure the grub screws. Make sure you go past finger tight torque as these grub screws actually bite into the pole and hold it into position. Tight knead the grub screws. Make sure you do not strip the grub screw head. Insert the Allen key and make sure the Allen key is not sitting ajar. Sitting nice and flush in the grub screw itself. The last thing you would want is to drill out a stripped grub screw. Let's insert the upper portion of the pole to complete the main vertical pole assembly. Using the included grub screws, affix the upper pole with the Allen key going past hand tight. Hey Kane, make sure you don't strip the grub screw heads. Another two grub screws, and we're done here. Liti Courier has included what appears to be a laser etched logo. Very subtle. Let's install the main adapter that affixes the horizontal light pole with the vertical light stand. First, tighten the bottom grub screw to attach with the vertical light stand. Next, tighten the top and upper grub screw finger tight only. 
This is because you will need to level out the horizontal light pole after this step. This is the spirit level, or bubble roller, which indicates whether a surface is horizontal, level, or vertical, plumb. <laughs> Make sure the horizontal light pole is level, then tighten the grub screws beyond hand tight. This ensures that the grub screws have a good grip and doesn't sag when you hang a light. We will need to remove the existing light stands from this Chihi Ross WRGB2 Slim. If you are removing the light stands, like I'm doing here, please make sure you keep them in a safe place, just in case in future you need them or even consider selling the light. Next, we move on to installing the light hanging kit to the LED. Litia Courier sells light hanging kits for various models within the Chihiros, Twinstar or Frock brands. Start with a large screw on the bottom and then affix the billet screw on top. This is what holds the LED to the horizontal light pole. Repeat the process on both sides, then with both hands try lifting the LED up. If it all looks okay, move on to affixing it to the horizontal light pole. Once the LED is suspended, simply use the spirit level again to ensure the light is stable on both horizontal and vertical axis. You can do so by gauging the spirit level as you adjust the metal cables that suspend the LED. I highly recommend that you keep calm and take your time. The last thing you want is to have the light or even the spirit level fall into the aquarium. As you can see here, we have achieved a perfect vertical and horizontal level. Final touches are to loop the metal cables and neatly tuck them away. I don't recommend cutting them, as you may need to adjust the height later down the track. The last thing I would like to do is use black cable zip ties and route the LED power cable down the vertical light pole into the cabinet. For the sake of sanity, please double check all grub screws are securely fastened, making sure that you do not strip the heads of the grub screws in the process of doing so. There you have it, I have unboxed and covered how to install a cabinet mount light stand to your aquarium cabinet. I highly recommend those looking for a light stand to buy from Litia Carrera. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to the Nora Aqua channel. See you again in the next video. Bye for now.